What's up everybody? Today's video is going to be a product review of the StarCraft II Razer Banshee headset. Now before I get into the review, I will mention that instead of looking at me talking or looking at a picture of the headset or anything else boring like that, you are going to be watching some of my Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. Now it might not be ideal for someone looking to buy the headset, but it's better than looking at a blank screen and it's a decent game. So, about the Razer StarCraft II Banshee. It's a USB headset, so you don't have to mess with any of that like 38 millimeter jack bullshit. It's just straight up USB headset. Um, it comes in one color, silver, and then the StarCraft II logo is blue. It's extremely comfortable. That was one thing that I liked about the uh, Razer Banshee is it was just so dang comfortable. The top part that goes on your head, the uh, I don't even know what to call it, but the part that is on top of your head is very wide and heavily cushioned and distributes the weight of the headset very, very well. Uh, that was probably like my favorite thing about it is how comfortable it was. The ear cups are huge. They're massive. They're kind of square. And um, they're like they're it's made of a uh, like a cushiony fabric it's not leather or anything that gets real hot i don't know how to explain it it would be like kind of like a like a cottony fabric i guess a padded cotton fabric and then on top of the very wide brim at the top it makes for a very comfortable headset the cord is like a like a threaded cloth fabric as well and it, it does tend to tangle up pretty bad but it it doesn't really get caught on as much stuff because it's always torqued. So I'd say that's a good thing, the cord. Um, the audio quality on the headset is not the best in the world. Like if you're comparing it to a like a Beats by Dre or something that you use just to listen to music, it's not as good. But it gets the job done and it's not bad. So it's definitely not a negative either. I will say the the most negative thing about the headset is that the mic just shits out. I've read on several online forums and I've come to basically conclude that after about two months of using the Razer Banshee, the mic completely shits out. It happened to me, it happened to everyone on forums, and basically there's no solution for it. You have to send it into Razer and they'll have to send you a new one. So the question is, should you buy the Razer Banshee? And my answer to that is no, you should not, because the headset is almost certain to break, and it's not really worth the money to spend that much on a headset and the mic to stop working. So I will now talk about the alternatives of the Razer Banshee. I sent mine in. I got it replaced. Uh, I'm just going to keep it for backup. But I bought a SteelSeries Siberia V2 headset, and so far it works great. The problem with the Siberia is it's not as comfortable as the Banshee, because that's, the, that's what I think the Banshee did best, was comfortability. And, you know, the Siberia is just not there as far as comfortability goes. After about two hours of gaming, you have to take the headset off and rub your ears, because it presses down on them pretty badly. But, uh... As far as the mic, it's better, obviously. It works, and it's not as annoying. It, it can retract inside the headset. It works, I think, better. Even before the mic on the Banshee crapped out, I did have a few static issues. So my advice to you would be to purchase the SteelSeries Siberia V2 headset over the Razer Banshee, or maybe go with another Razer headset as a... It, the Banshee really seems to be the only one with any problems. So that was my review on the Razer StarCraft II Banshee. Uh, I would appreciate a like, a uh, comment. Maybe you have a Banshee and it hasn't done anything negative for you and you love it. Go ahead and leave that comment. Maybe you were going to buy the Banshee and I saved you some heartache. Saved you the $120 of a headset that was almost for sure going to break. Um, and maybe a subscribe if you like commentaries, occasional reviews, 
and some gameplay like this. I'm just going to let the rest of the gameplay run and give you some time to leave a comment and leave a like. I'll see you guys later.